everybody. I'm Chief Meteorologist Eric Snydell. That's John Kutchko, and this is our new uh, friend for the next Caveman days. Kutchko. <laughs> I haven't shaved in like three that, days, my friend. Got a little stubble in there. You said the scruff was distracting. It's all good. He's just kidding. It makes for good TV. What's going on here? We've got some what flood watches this? now. Check this out. So you got Monroe, you've got Orleans, you've got Genesee and Wyoming County flood watches in effect from Saturday afternoon to Sunday afternoon, and it's not because we're getting snow. Mm -mm. It is this, all going to be rain. This is amazing, really, considering the time of year we're in. Yep. And I'm concerned seeing that potential precipitation on the west side because that means Awaka Creek, which is a huge tributary to the Genesee, is going right. to fill up quickly. And I want to make a point, too. This is a different flavor of flood watches that we've seen. The last few watches and warnings, they've been those lakeshore flood warnings. Yeah. That's mainly for, you know, the winds pushing all of that sure. lake water on shore. This is a different animal. This is going to be we all get one to two inches of rain. That will allow the rivers to start to swell, too, which we obviously don't want to see. This is where all of the issues are going to be, and we're getting closer to a point now, John, where you're within 48 hours of a lot of this high-impact action. So the National Weather Service is now starting to issue these watches and advisories, and then by tomorrow there will be warnings. You're going to get... Some significant severe weather here across the deep south on Saturday. Alabama and Mississippi, I think, especially, even back west of there. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get tornado watches and warnings out of that. This is the giant swath of flooding. And you see, this is along and just west of the Mississippi River. It even goes into parts of Michigan, obviously, uh, us in western New York. Sure. Then those are winter storm watches. And a lot of that is going to be not for snow, but for freezing rain, which uh, that could be a big deal out of this. As will our rainfall total. Some of the new guidance coming in. We've been saying one to two inches of rain now for a few days. I don't see a whole lot there that changes, but look at this axis of red that is knocking on our door. 3.1 in Detroit, 2.65 in Toronto. That'd be bad. Yeah, this is going to snarl air traffic all yeah, over the country. I think so. All over the country. It's such a big system, as yep. you pointed out there. And in places like Detroit and Toronto, they're a few degrees colder than us. Yeah. Uh, I don't know that that falls is all rain for them. So there could be some icing issues. Now, we'll break this down here. It's going to start raining tomorrow morning, and it's really not going to get out of the picture until Sunday afternoon. But embedded within that, we're honing in now on late Saturday and Saturday night. I think that's going to be the time frame of some of the heaviest rainfall totals. So even though we're all going to get one to two inches, sure. much of that will fall late Saturday into Saturday night as the temperatures are starting to fall substantially with that, too. We're in the 20s right now, mostly because we got snow on the ground. Mm -hmm. There could be some foggy issues here as that warmer and moist air overspreads that snowpack. But the warm air is going to win out tomorrow. There's your rainfall. We're near 50 as the showers go in and out through the day tomorrow. This is one of the coolest things you're going to see this time of year. 60 degrees, John, at 1130. Okay? Now, one more click. We go to 330. Four hours, we have fallen to 37. It's remarkable. It really is. And today, it was 18 degrees when I went <laughs> up to Lake Ontario. With a wind chill near zero. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was just incredible here what's happening. And that precipitous drop in a matter of hours on Saturday, uh, that'll be something to really uh, it, to cherish and behold. It's going to be an attention getter for sure. Now, at 37 degrees, the critical number here is obviously 32. Yeah. It is freezing. This is what changes the game on us. I do think we're going to get awfully close to that. And the state of meteorology here on a Thursday afternoon, 48 hours ahead of time, is not good enough to be able to say with certainty that we're going to be 33 and not 32. We're not good Very enough to be able to do that. I'm, I'm intrigued because that wind's coming from almost due north, correct? Right. North, northeast, yeah. I mean, there is a chance, right? I'm asking there you is. that this, this could push the cooler temperatures down just yeah. a little more than what we're seeing here? There absolutely is still that chance. I think it's a lower potential than mm -hmm. it was what we were looking at a couple of days ago. And that's kind of what this shows. Now, I love this because it's, it's got all these fancy colors on yeah. it, but this is kind of a nerdy graphic. Let me walk you through this. We've got four different computer models, and they're all going to have a different opinion on where that freezing line is going to be. So let's show you where the opinion is. Each one of these different colors is where the model thinks the 32-degree line is. We know at 1030 we're close to 60, so obviously we've got no freezing issues with that. Yeah. How far south does this go? By 1030 p.m. Saturday night, the reliable European model still keeps that freezing line near and north of Toronto. The Euro this whole time has been saying we're not really all that close to having to worry about freezing issues. The NAM model is kind of in line with that too. The American GFS and our in-house model, these are the two that waffle that line, what I would say too close for comfort. Mm -hmm. uh, but then it waffles it back off north as we start to move forward. So 
I think we've exited this point here now, John, where uh, we're worried about an off chance of an ice storm. I think where we're at now is we may get some brief periods, I think especially some of the valleys where that colder air seeps in, where you may get some of this to change over to freezing rain. But an ice storm is not just it's 32 and it's raining. Mm -hmm. It needs to be more than just 32 in terms of cold. A lot of the worst ice storms happen with upper 20s and mid 20s because that rain is falling, but at 32, that's not efficient freezing. No, no. And we're going to be coming off of near 60 a few hours prior to that. So everything, the roads, the trees, the power lines are all going to be warm sure. because of that. Yeah. A very borderline event like this would be one where even if I showed you a computer model that says we have a quarter inch of freezing rain that will fall, I don't think it would be the same impact as a normal situation where we're coming out of cold air and everything's going to be much more apt to freeze. So from that standpoint, and I do want to forecast this from an impact-based standpoint more than anything else, I'm having a hard time finding a route now where this ends up being any kind of a deal for anybody. Sure. Which is fine. Yeah, it's fine. Look, yeah. we, we don't need to deal with the no, we don't. at this point. But it's also not going to be snow. It's yeah. not going to be pretty. It's not going to be that photogenic. We may taper to some snow showers on Sunday. Mm -hmm. That's off the table. We don't have any snow with this. Uh, it's going to be, I think, the big issue, do we get one inch or two inch mm -hmm. snow, or rain amounts, rain. And, and what does that do to the rivers? I see wind here. Uh, yep. Nothing too crazy, right? Nothing too crazy. You're going to see wind on Sunday, too. Mm -hmm. I could see gusts of 40 to 45 miles an hour on Sunday. What direction, please? That would uh, eventually be turning to the northwest once that low starts to pass on All by. Right. So you can get your soda's point. I may, I may back off this weekend. It's NFL <laughs> playoffs. I may, be, I may a take point. a break. I may a take a break. Breather with that. <laughs> uh, but I'm a, I'm a bit more confident standing here now in my worries of Saturday night being something more sinister. All right. We'll be watching it closely. I know we'll you see. will. Yeah. We'll be back on here at uh, 5 o'clock on air. We'll see you. Take care.